Hi everyone and thank you very much for joining me in this tutorial. So in this one, I'm going to show you about how you can resolve this error which you get when you upload a heavy or a large file on Ubuntu server through an interface or through, through an application that you have deployed on it. Right. Now, I have a Django application running on this Ubuntu server. Okay. And I have made some changes in the configuration files of Nginx. Uh, my Django application and my Unicorn configuration file so as to resolve the error which I just showed you. Okay, now what all things I did that is what I'm going to brief you in this particular lecture. So first, first comes first, I'm going to tell you about the configuration. I have defined this settings.py file for the uploading of heavy files on the interface on Ubuntu. So this is what I have defined over here in the settings.py file. So there is this data data upload maximum memory size which I have set to this 20 GB and there is this file upload maximum memory size which I have set to again 20 GB. Okay, so these are the two things which I have defined in the settings.py file of Django. Now I'm closing it and I'm going to show you the configuration I have set in the configuration file of Nginx for resolving the error. So as you can, as you guys know, Nginx is there in etc named folder Nginx and there is this folder called sites available in which we have the configuration file for the application stored. Okay, I'm going to open it up in a notepad file. Okay, or else let me do one thing. Let me open it up in VS Code. I think that will be much better. Yeah, so this view is, I think, much better. So as you can see, I have set the value for the variable client maximum body size for the server so that on HTTPS also, you know, this can work. Fine, then I have also set it uh, for my local, as you can see, it's for HTTP. So if I will access the site on HTTP and I'll try to upload a file, uh, let's say it's of size 20 MB or 20 GB, I will be able to do that because I have defined the value for this variable for HTTP also over here under location, right? So these are the two things which I have done here. Then comes Unicorn, which is basically, uh, you know, a bridge between our application and Nginx. Now, what I have done for Unicorn, let me show that to you. So, as you guys know, Unicorn uh, is present in the folder named System, which is there in System D named folder. Okay, so here you can find this Unicorn.service named file. And let me just open it up in VS Code. I think that will be much better and you'll be able to see all the content properly. So here is the content and as you can see, uh, you know, I have made changes in this execution start line. So what I'm doing, I'm picking up the Unicorn configuration, okay, from a file named unicorn.conf.py which is present in my in the directory where my project code is present okay and then i am simply running the application through unicorn now what is the thing i have defined in unicorn.conf.py that is what i would like to show to you guys now so i need to come back and then we have the application stored in where www. So this is the application and here is my unicorn.conf.py file. And I have defined two variables over here, limit request line and limit request field size. Okay, so with this, I uh, am controlling the uploading part. Okay, so you can fire these three commands. The first one is 
demon reload okay you can do sudo system ctl demon reload so it will reload your demon fine then the next thing that you can do is you can restart your unicorn fine and the last thing which you have to do is you have to reload or restart your nginx so that the changes that you have done can become active and you know they can do the needful okay so these are the three commands that you can fire in the terminal and you will see that uh, you know the error will get resolved this is it from my side in this lecture i hope you guys enjoyed it bye bye take care and have a great great day ahead guys